It is a wonderful first of November 2017. An EMP affects electronics by shorting the transistor in the IC, the transistor connection in the IC. And to give you an idea of how many, I, uh, how many of these transistor connections are in our world or that we work with every day, uh, iPhone 7s have 3.3 billion transistor connections inside the ICs inside your phone. This is an iPhone 1. iPhone 7 has 3.1 billion transistor connections. Now, the modern laptop computer, 200 billion. 200 billion. Now, a lot could be said, well, if it's not plugged in, it's not going to affect anything, which is wrong. Uh, well, if I'm in a Faraday cage, it's not going to affect anything, which is right. Uh, well, if, if I take out my batteries and leave it dead, it's not going to affect anything. Wrong. And it's wrong subject to, okay? It's wrong in that electricity, you can't see it. It, it. Dudes, it can cook your food or it can cook you, right? So let's not try to understand electricity so much to say that an EMP would or would not uh, stop our vehicles from traveling. But let's just look at everyday life, computers, cell phones, uh, communications, back and forth a lot of our uh, telecommunications television stations radio stations they all have these uh, transistors imprinted on their ICs and they're all susceptible to the EMP unless it's been EMP hardened and I'm not going into that because that does not interest me what interested me was exactly why an EMP would affect our electronics and it does so by shorting out the relay or a transistor on our integrated circuits. When this happens, your, your item is useless. There is no coming back at all. Now, transistors, where are they in our society? Everywhere, in everything. I see transistors are in everything that we have, modern, okay, modern. Perhaps if you have a 1950s truck, you'll be just fine. But all those people who who like to have the newest thing, the newest stuff, the, the best of everything to show the world that, oh, I'm successful and I'm having just a wonderful life. You see my beautiful teeth that I paid $5,000 for? Do you see my beautiful breasts that I paid $25,000 for? Pull your head out of your asses, people. Seriously. Pull your head from your ass, extract your cranium from your rectum, and get a clue to life. Okay? ICs are in everything, including cars. Everything that is electronic has integrated circuits nowadays. Televisions, everything does. And as I've explained, the uh, EMP affects... The transistor on the IC board by shorting it out. Once it's short out, done deal. Now, if you leave your unit plugged in and you're uh, 3,000 miles away from an EMP, would it still affect you? Well, I would assume that it could simply because of all the electrical lines acting as an antenna to redirect the EMP energy through the grid system. So, everybody, unplug everything from the grid. After the EMP, we plug it back in and everything's going to be fine. Wrong. Depending on where you're at, where the EMP goes, how close it is to you, it's not really going to matter whether or not your stuff is unplugged, unbatteried, or anything else. Because it has nothing to do with your power source. It has to do with the integrated circuit on your boards, in your devices, 
that number in the billions, hundreds of billions, and trillions that will be short-circuited during an EMP blast. So that's what I wanted to tell you about an EMP. Do I actually think this is going to happen on the 4th? Well, I would have to say, what? What am I going to say going to happen on the 4th? An EMP? Stranger things have happened. You know, anybody who knows how to read, who has some intelligence and can actually think for themselves, can connect the dots. Where everybody's going to be on or about the 4th. Uh, on the 3rd, oh, uh, Trump's going to be going to Japan and then South Korea. And what is this for? Perhaps this is for a meeting, a political meeting to try to de-escalate the situation in that area of the world. Who knows? Then you have uh, your EMP drill that's going off on the 4th, 5th, and 6th that's going to be involving a lot of people. Probably some crisis actors, too, for those of you who need a little cash. Uh, and then you have the revolution uh, that's being proclaimed to be started on or about the 4th uh, by Antifa, which actually, when you look at the history of Antifa, it comes all the way back from Nazi Germany, okay, anti-fascists. You know, whatever. Whatever you want to do is okay with me so long as what you do doesn't fuck with me. You see what I'm saying? If you want to suck a man's dick, suck a man's dick. I don't give a shit. But don't try to suck my dick. Because then we're going to have a problem. And you're going to be dead. Okay? Pull your head out of your asses, people. Think before you spout off at the mouth in an emotional trant that makes no fucking sense. And once it's all said and done, you're scratching your head going, I wonder what I was trying to say. Or, no matter what I said, he just couldn't understand what I'm trying to say because you're stupid. You're non-thinking, ignorant. And you like to be that way because ignorance is bliss. And you may think that, well, conspiracy hats coming on. Well, America would never hurt its own citizens. Really? Really? All right. Well, America would never start any wars. America would never do this. America would never. You know what? We, the people of America, can do anything we want. That is why we live here. We're free. Or as close enough proximity to, to where we can go rent a truck from Home Depot and go drive down a bike path in New York City and kill eight people, injure 12 others. We're free to do that. Is it against the law? Of course. Are we going to start outlawing uh, Home Depot trucks I think we should. I need to sign that petition immediately. Guys, seriously, just think, okay? Just think. You have the internet, you have Google, which, on a side note, I'm getting a little irritated at Google, eBay, uh, even Walmart.com. They're all starting to promote and push counterfeit shit from China, which I'm sure many of you probably never realized this. Check it out. You'll see what I'm saying. Go on eBay, look up supercapacitors or batteries, or go to walmart.com and look up the same thing. And guess where they come from? They're cheap knockoffs from China. But that's okay. I digress. Pull your head out of your ass, people. Think about what's happening in the world. Think about it with a little bit of uh, zeal, zest, energy, effort. 
uh, desire a conclusion, resolution, absolution to whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're considering. Don't just go out there and say, ah, ah. That's not an argument. You cannot have a dialogue with screaming. You cannot have a dialogue with people who are unable or unwilling to put together words in a sentence to phrase what they want to say. So stay in your iPhones. Stay on your computers. Stay in your little world where nothing goes wrong. Football's number one. Beer. Women. Don't forget the weed. You know? Stay in your little world and act like nothing's happening. Like the world itself is going crazy. And you yourself are going to be just fine. Until. And then what are you going to say? People, be good to each other. Live today like it's the last day on this planet. Live today with respect and love in your heart for everybody. No matter who they are or where they come from. Okay? Until and at such time as they show themselves to be not caring about you in your life, and your time. It's not the truck's fault. It's not the gun's fault. It's the person. It is the person. And whatever's inside that person's heart and mind was taught to them, learned by them. Hate is learned. So... I think I got way off track on this conversation. We'll go ahead and leave it there. Leave your comments.